Let me see if this works. I have to go with the screen stream. It won't pick up the actual uh, the actual game itself. But we'll test this. Hopefully it works. <clears throat> Hey, there it is. Alright, we're on play, host, join, options, quit. I wonder how bad the lag is. Hey, what's up? Thank you for tuning into the stream. Can you hear me? Is, that, is everything alright there? I hope you can hear me. Okay, so everybody can hear everything. I'm going to tweet this out real quick. Um, Alright, bear with me just a second, guys. I'm sorry. We'll get this thing going. You know how, how social media is. Gotta get all that attention. Alright, so I've got my chat open on my laptop beside me. I've got uh, Savage Lands here on my desktop. I'm ready to roll. Um, what you are going to see is, uh, I would say, eight or ten hours into the game. Um, it is a very, very early alpha. Um, so, there's issues, obviously. Uh, the game may crash to desktop. If that happens, I'll just reload it up because I'm capturing desktop as it is. Uh, hopefully, I haven't downloaded and saved any porn to my desktop so you guys can see that. But, I mean, really, who downloads porn anymore? Um, Alright, let's take a look. Uh, you, uh, actually, th this game is in a very boring part uh, from what I've seen. Um, nighttime is incredibly... Um, yeah, boring. I mean, there's just no other way around it. Uh, let me see. Volume's all the way up. Uh, in the top left-hand corner, you will see three bars. The top bar is heat. That's the blue bar. The middle bar is health. That's the red bar. And then the bottom bar, that yellowish, greenish looking thing, that's um, hunger slash stamina. And all of these bars drain rather quickly depending on the situation you're in. So right now, it's the middle of the night, and uh, it's cold. It's very, very cold. Alright, I'm hearing some stuff. Um, because it's cold, you see I'm at 64% heat, 75% stamina slash health. Uh, you probably hear some screaming and bleeding in the background. That's uh, deer. That's, that's how I get some meat. Um, and I hear some gurgling, some growling. I don't quite know where it's coming from, uh, but I did see something over here, so I'll give you a general idea of, of this is the stuff you're facing. Uh, this is a village I found. Right, I'm hearing some stuff here. Um, just a random village that I found, uh, kind of broken down, a uh, bunch of stuff laying all over the ground that I've picked up. I'll, I'll show you my inventory here in a moment. You can see up in the sky there, that's a dragon. He lives on this pedestal. I'm assuming this is a village that worshipped the dragon, because you can see kind of a pedestal here with the dragon statue that's all busted up. Where are all these noises coming from? Um, I'm not using surround sound headphones, so I don't know if all of this is directional. Um, you're probably going to hear my Facebook. I know I saw a skeleton. Where did it go? And I don't have a torch right now so that I can see. Uh, you can see my, my heat up in the top left is dropping significantly. But um, if I eat, it actually gives me a little bit of heat back. because it's uh, I'm assuming because it's cooked food. Alright, there's some deer I just scared off. Uh, the deer roam in packs of two, believe it or not. Uh, and if you scare one, you scare the other immediately. And from what I've seen... They all run immediately towards the coast, so, and then they run out in the water. So if you're cold and you go out in the water, you get colder. Um, if any of those meters at the top um, 
hit zero, <clears throat> um, you start freezing to death, or you start starving to death. Um, I suppose I can show you some stuff that looks safe. I don't see any skeletons coming to get me right now. There's a deer right over there. A couple of them. Um, but uh, at 10% of your, uh, your food, your, your stamina slash hunger, is when you start starving. Um, when you start, when, when it hits zero, then you start actually losing health. And the sides of your screen get really veiny and, and making it hard to see, uh, basically. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the stuff that I have. Again, this is eight or ten hours into the game. Um, I should take you back to my, my original home. Uh, you can see I've got a fire here. If you push, well, we'll do inventory like I said I would. Here's my inventory. This, on the left-hand side, all of this, this vicinity, that's everything that I've dropped on the ground. From what I can tell, when you drop it on the ground, it stays on the ground. Alright, um, I had some armor, body armor, you can see I've got chain helmet, I've got some uh, leather boots here, worn leather boots. Um, but when you wear armor, it stops damage. So it's not like, uh, I'm going to put this armor on, and uh, I take half damage, or I take a third damage. If you're wearing armor, and they hit you, it takes all of the damage. But, you can also see these meters start to wear down as well. You see my boots are starting, uh, started to wear down. Um, from what I understand, that's something that they recently introduced into the game. I'm just going to keep looking around as I, as I talk to make sure I don't get bum rushed because I don't have any chest armor. My, my body armor just got destroyed uh, because I, I went wolf hunting. Um, down here, uh, a worn metal axe that I found. Uh, I've made this heavy stone hammer, which is a really good hammer. Uh, I made this barbed skull mace, and I have another barbed skull mace up here that I actually went up uh, when the dragon flew off, and he always flies north. He doesn't come this way. But the dragon flew off, so I went and checked out his tower, and I found this other mace um, at, the, at the bottom of his tower. Uh, these animal bones, you get these, you get one every time you kill a deer. Uh, a lot of the stuff only stacks to five or to three. So this strong sinew that I have only stacks to three. Uh, regular sinew only stacks to three. Uh, these are backpacks. You start with one um, little torn, is this it? Uh, no, it's a small pouch. It's like a torn rucksack, um, it, but it only hold, it gives you like three additional slots to carry things in addition to your four up here and then your five down here. Um, <laughs> Look at ham job. What a dick. Uh, so, you can see these backpacks, um, they actually hold ten items. And I've made four of them. Uh, you need to kill wolves for them. Um, I've got uh, torn rucksacks, small pouches that obviously don't carry much. Um, and we'll go through some of the inventory that I actually have. This axe is a shredder axe. And I can't help but think of Ninja Turtles anytime I, I see that. Uh, that's that's one of the first legitimate weapons that I've used, and you can actually use it as an axe uh, to, to chop down trees and, and such. Uh, here we've got leather hide. You get this from from deer. Um, basic bandages I've made from from some uh, cloth scraps, and I made these frost fern band frost ferns. Uh, grow out in the wilderness. You combine them with a regular bandage. A bandage will stop bleeding because if, if you get chewed on, you start bleeding and taking damage over time. And you can see down here are all my stat stats: uh, health, stamina, damage, armor, attack speed, etc. Uh, and then these are just indicators. This tells you what color it's going to be, uh, even though it tells you uh, bleeding, starving, poison, disease uh, on this screen uh, up underneath your your uh, your meters. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and eat something because my hunger is getting back up there. Uh, so you can see the heat and the hunger go all the way back up. I'll make sure I have a weapon equipped just in case I get jumped here. Um, I, I made this as a weapon. Uh, it's like an oak club. Uh, oak skull smasher. I, I, I don't really have any um, idea. Uh, I guess I could check this. So my, my damage stays the same. When, it, when I switch them, so I, I don't really see any huge benefit just yet in terms of stats when I change weapons, but I do notice, um, you know, if I was going to use a hammer to wipe out a skeleton, it takes a ton of hits um, as compared to this club that I have now. Um, you can see I've got some radiant gem fragments, no clue what they're for yet. 
Uh, this is just stone. Uh, I've got medium quality. I've got a bunch of food, thank goodness. Um, there's some leather hide here, more bones, bone dust from the skeletons I've killed. Uh, high quality metal ore. I need one more of those to make a sword that I've been dying to make. Um, some other stone, uh, some sticks here. Uh, a, a burned out torch uh, because I equipped it in this secondary slot, not realizing that they burn out, and they burn out really quick. Uh, and here's more food. This is frost berries, but frost berries actually stop poison. I haven't come across anything that poisons me yet, but if I eat uh, decayed flesh um, or tainted meat, there's a 50-50 chance that I can get diseased, uh, poisoned, anything like that. Uh, what's neat is when you die, your body just drops, so you can always come back and get stuff, uh, which is a good thing because I died a whole lot in, in the first couple of days. I died once a day uh, for the first three or four days, uh, and then I made it two days. You know, understanding that I needed more food, I needed to stay warm, and things like that. You can see the worn stone axe. I don't really need it. it takes up inventory slot that I don't, I don't want to put it into. Um, but it, um, w once you actually understand that you should probably hunt first, get your food and, and such in order before you set off. That's flint. I don't need that either. Then, um, what the hell is that sound? Sounds like thunder. I haven't seen any weather yet. Um, wondering if this... There, there's the moon, obviously. And when the sun comes up, the sun and the moon stay in the sky. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Or if this is just truly a savage land. Um, let's see. I have enough heat that I can make my way back to where my original base camp was. And then I'll show you a little bit about the crafting system. Um... Sounds like there are some deer around here. What's cool about this is you can move through the brush. This is really how you hunt. When you want to craft something, you put essentially something's over here. You put something on the ground and then you add components to it. So you when you're building a structure, you don't have to have all the components at once. Man, it really sounds like... Maybe it's from this guy. Is there a skeleton? Oh, there's a deer. Alright, to hell with those. Let's go back to my base camp. Um, so what I did, because you don't have to add anything, um, I just essentially threw down a bunch of structures, quote, to mark the way between the village I found and uh, my normal base camp. Uh, you can see that's that's a house that you can you can start building, uh, and, and it takes a significant amount of resources to actually build these. 50 stone for that and 25 wood. Uh, I have a wooden shack down here. I have a lean, to, uh, excuse me, a lean to. I have uh, a couple of fires, and you can see my, my heat is dropping really, really fast. Um, so at night time, and night time is quite long, um, if you want to stay warm you have to have a whole bunch of food, or a whole bunch of resources to build fires, and just leapfrog from fire to fire to regain heat. Um, at night also, regaining heat is a lot harder than it is uh, during the day when it's actually warm out. Go down here. All these trees, all the rocks that you see, you can harvest them. And that's the really cool thing about this. And, and there's no tutorial yet. Like I said, this is a very, very early alpha build. There's no tutorial, so I, I didn't quite understand that my first time playing. I just kind of hopped in and said, you know, what the hell do I do? Um, I, I've seen games like this. You can't just harvest the trees and, and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Um, this is where... I, like I told you, when you drop something, it just stays there. Open up inventory, you can see I've got human heads, there's these frost ferns, a bunch of just old crappy tools that I have lying around. What I do need, some more leather arm guards, and I don't know if I have another chest piece. I don't think that I do. I do have some more boots. You can see all the flint 
flint is very common, obviously. Uh, also, animal bone. Uh, you get one animal bone for every deer or uh, wolf you kill. Uh, or or th there's a chance, and they are very common. So you can see all the animal bone I have. Uh, here's some decayed flesh. I think I have... Uh, and this is the other issue that I'm, I'm running into. Again, it's alpha. Is that the decayed flesh took the place of my barbed skull mace, and I didn't want it to. Um, we'll drop this torch on the ground here. I don't think there's anything I need in particular here. I'm just doing a quick scan. Um, do I have a stack of bone? Yeah, I do have a stack of bone dust, so that goes on the ground too. Um, you can hear the deer in the background just going to work. There's the tattered bag that you start with, and I can you know, shut my door. Um, a tree grows in the middle of my house, and if you cut the tree but you don't cut down the stump, it won't regrow. So I leave the stump there, otherwise I can't get into my house. Uh, here's a stone house that I'm working on building. Uh, in fact, I'm going to dump some stone in right now. Alright, that's all the stone I have. Uh, here's the lean-to that I had crafted. Um, it's supposed to be, from, from the explanation, these houses and such are supposed to be your spawn point when you die. Uh, I haven't found that to be the case. Uh, I don't know how to actually use these things, and I don't know that you can yet. Uh, I've said it before, and you're going to hear it throughout the whole stream. This is a very early alpha. Okay, so let's look a little bit at uh, crafting. First, we'll go into the journal. These are all your structures. Um, oh, and what's funny is this is the very first time I'm noticing these tabs at the top. That's amazing. Uh, so I've got campfire, stone house, town hall, my lean-to, um, and then if I go over here, wooden house, wooden shack. And it shows you... Oh, there we go. Crashed. So, let's close all this down. Open it back up. And this happens, um, you know, throughout the, the game. Uh, I've had a dozen, two dozen crashes now. So, but it, it saves everything. I'll be right where I am when I when I start it up. Uh, here's the other cool thing. You can it's a, a multiplayer game. You can have up to eight people join. Uh, or, uh, if I want to take my Smitty Smith character with all the stuff that I have on him into a friend's game, I can do that. And then if I get something in a friend's game, I can bring it back into my game. So your character, uh, depending on which character you're playing, um, is, is persistent and you can take him into different worlds. I think that's really cool. That way you're not uh, basically maintaining dozens and dozens of characters across all kinds of different servers. I think it's a, a really neat touch. That's the, the dragon pedestal I've been telling you about. Uh, okay, so here we are, back again. Um, really quick load. So, um, back to my journal. Uh, campfire, lean to, stone house, town hall. All you do, let's see, 500 logs and 100 wood sticks. Logs do not stack. That save showed like two days ago? What do you mean that save showed like two days ago? Okay. Everything I had is still in here, my friend. Two days ago is when I started this character. So that might be what it is. Don't, don't worry, I've, I've tested it all. There's the water down there. Um, I initially spawned right over in that location. Um, but back to my journal. So if I want to select something to make, so I, I want to make a wooden house. I can click the wooden house, and then I, it calls up this outline, and you have to find a place where it will actually fit. Um, mouse cursor up and down will rotate it. Uh, and that's that's how that works. I'm going to get back over to my fire so I don't freeze to death. I haven't found a place in this vicinity where I can actually build a house. But what's cool is, let's say you're playing with eight people. You can literally start your own village, your own town, out in the middle of nowhere, you know, doing, doing your own thing. Um, and that's a, a really, really cool touch. All right. Um... Let's go back to this journal. I want an armored skeleton. Uh, I guess this is just like the bestia uh, uh, bestiary. Um, dragon. Enraged dire bear, I'm guessing. A lot of this stuff isn't in game yet. Um, barbed skull maze, black and steel sword, hatchets. That's the sword I'm trying to make right here, the Grey Reaver. 
this is, I mean, this is interesting. Uh, you don't really need it. Um, there's your armor you can have. And a lot of this stuff you can't really craft until you get better stuff. And you need a forge. Um, how long is a day in the game? Um, I don't know. I haven't really uh, half hour, an hour. I mean, the, the night is as long as the day, which is a little concerning to me, considering how fast you, you, uh, you lose heat during nighttime. Um, if it was like an hour for day and a half hour for night, I would be really pleased. But you'll notice night lasts a significant amount of time. Um, maybe the sun's starting to come up already, so that's that's a good thing. Maybe it is a half hour. Uh, but it, it just seems long because I, I can't really go out and do anything in the nighttime unless I'm doing, like I said, leapfrogging. Um, more food down in my see I keep I keep an axe I keep a hammer I keep a weapon I keep food and then one bag down in here because having a bag in your quick inventory also adds to your slots over here you see how fast I fill up on all this stuff um, which wasn't the case early in the game I, I just I couldn't find enough resources I could chop down a tree have a bunch of logs uh, but that was that was that um, so let's look uh, if I get to a fireplace well, first off Coming over here, away from the fireplace, you pull up your crafting. You can't really make, you can make sinew from leather hide. I can make a small pouch, torn rucksack, strong sinew, also from leather hide. One hide makes one strong sinew, or one hide makes three regular sinew. Um, you can make bone dust, things like that. But if you come to the fire, to forge, you can cook meat, um, you can make, um, you know, leather arm guards. You can make all this other stuff. Now, the Grey Reaver. Uh, yes, this is a, a, a open world survival. They're going to be adding other stuff. Um, and I know the the more the more you wear, it does affect your heat. Oh, I've got a deer coming right up on me, and it's all line of sight. So if I can sneak up, this it might actually spot me. Ooh, take it. There. Now I get some leather and some meat. Where does his friend go? Oh, see, his friend ran. And now his friend's in the water. Oh, that, that's the other... You see the tree in the water over there? When you chop down a tree, they roll downhill. Same with logs. They roll downhill. So often you'll be walking along, you look out, and there's a tree up there. And you're like, what the hell? You can see, I think, out along there, there's a tree as well. Uh, but yeah, it's all open uh, survival. They'll be adding um, objectives in later, I would expect. Uh, also, where it's only eight people on a server right now, I know they've talked about uh, increasing that. Um, I've heard some numbers tossed out, 32, 64, but I don't know how that's, that's going to be. Um, but I mean, a 64-person server, if you could choose factions, you know, 32 to each side, build your city, and then have this, you know, like, PvP-type world, uh, I, I think that would be phenomenal. Um, that, I think it'd be really, really fun to do. Uh, but back to crafting. You see, for this Great Reaver, I can't just make it out of fire. I actually need a forge. And I don't have a forge, and I don't know how to make a forge. Um, I don't know if the game is going to uh, add that later, or if it's a, a recipe I haven't found yet, um, because most of the recipes unlock when you actually loot the item needed for the recipe. So I picked up a piece of decayed flesh, suddenly I was able to make the flesh-bound hammer. I was, oh, okay, because I haven't, it's just, you need two bear claws. I haven't come across a bear at all. Uh, I, I, uh, frankly, I'm not sure I want to just yet, uh, because I'm so under-equipped. Um, take another bite to eat here. Uh, and that's the other thing, is, is because I've starved to death so much, even though I have uh, meat, I have um, all this meat here ready to cook, I have the berries to eat, you find apples and, and nuts out while you're playing, there's still a constant worry I have that I'm going to starve to death. Um, so I'm constantly, constantly hunting, and it does look like the sun's starting to come up, so that's a good thing. Uh, let me show you how um, gathering resources works a little bit. I'll take my stone axe, walk up to this tree. See? It 
took a little chunk out of the tree there. Chop number two. Chop number three. Chop number four. There, one more and it should fall. Timber! Boom. So there's a tree. Now if I... Oh, come on. Hit the tree. There we go. And now I have three wood logs. There's a glitch where if I use uh, just a regular stone axe and chop down a tree, two trees fall. So you, essentially you're duping wood. Um, if I use my shredder axe, three trees fall. Um, uh, Zyantine for, in, in terms of quests, I don't know. I, again, this is really early alpha. Um, they, they haven't really indicated exactly what's going to be in the game, but uh, they, there's no mod support yet. That's something that they've, they've said they, they want to look into later on. Uh, I, I would expect if there's not going to be objectives, they're going to have to open it up for modding because this game is just... It, it's designed perfectly to give players that opportunity to, to create their own content and use this as the framework. I mean, it, I, I, I'm hooked on the game, and there's really not much more to do right now. So what we'll do is we'll go... I, I, I want to... Um, actually, before we go, I'm going to drop off some of my resources, open up some stuff in my bags so that I, um, I can kill some stuff and loot the bodies and I don't have to leave resources lying around. You can see out in the water there, that's a deer. They go way out there, so there's really no point in chasing them out there. Alright, so I'll go back to my little house here and just drop stuff off. Uh, what don't I need? Uh, medium ore, I have tons of that. Uh, animal bone. Uh, I could probably drop that weapon, I don't really need that. Uh, metal axe and worn metal axe, so I'll be using that when that breaks. Ah, uh, low quality ore, medium quality ore, sorry, I, I like to talk to myself as well, leather hide, I kind of want to keep, um, is this human bone, that is human bone, I want to keep that too, high quality I want to keep, um, medium, we'll drop some of this medium, uh, and actually we'll drop some of this low as well. All these stacks of five. I, I need to keep the high. I need one more piece of high quality ore. Uh, do animal bone. Um, I think that's it. I'll keep, I'll keep some of this low with me. That way I can make more stacks of it. That's not low, is it? That's high. Okay. All right. So I think I, I have enough. I have enough here. Eat a little bit. Uh, get warmer. Get my Stamina. Uh, there's. I, I haven't found a requirement for running. I mean, you hold shift, you can run, uh, but you go through your stamina slash hunger a lot more. Uh, I'm just gonna refer to it as hunger from now on. By the way, because um, I think it's it's. It, I mean, it, it drops like hunger. See, if if I wasn't streaming and I saw that deer, I'd go over there after it immediately because again, I'm. I'm constantly concerned with uh, starving to death. Um, flint, I have no desire or need to pick up. I have so much of it. Uh, low quality metal ore. Uh, every now and again, uh, this stuff just kind of pops out. Alright, so that is empty. I'm not going to get anything more from that. You can tell from the sound. Let me find... Oh, okay, there's a skeleton over there with a sword in his hand. So you can hear the sound. Oh, there's high quality. That's everything I needed right there. Uh, I'm going to go after this skeleton. The last time I fought a skeleton that had armor and a sword, the only time I fought a skeleton that had armor and a sword, the game crashed. So uh, so let's take a look. Let's show some legitimate combat here. I suppose I could probably whack the deer too. Um, where'd Mr. Skelly go? He was just here. There he is. Let's do this, buddy. And this is my tactic. If you take a step towards them, they swing, then move in for the hit. Step. Hit. Oh. 
Look at you getting off two attacks. Oh crap. Oh, wiped him out. Oof, there we go. Oof. Oh, he hit me. There. So, some more flesh. And let's see what this guy had. Um, nothing? See, it, it did it again. It replaced my weapon with the item I was looting. And this guy, seriously, you can't loot his body at all? Nope. Nothing. Can't take a sword. Nope. Alright, so that might be something that they're adding in later. Oh, look, another skeleton. Some of these really take a lot of punishment before they go down. There he goes. Um, I'll take that. I don't really need the skull, but I do need to eat. Um, it might be a glitch. It might be something that they have to add in. I know for the next update, though I don't know when it's coming in, uh, they're adding, um, they call them, uh, forest giants, I think. Um, and you see this, this stuff here? This is randomly out in the world and typically has tools around it. But I know they're adding, they're essentially Ents, uh, the, the big tree people from Lord of the Rings. They have these giant um, uh, tree giants, is what they are. Uh, they're adding just just a few per world. Um, look at all the skeletons over there. Uh, but they're very difficult to take down. Uh, you need a number of people or you have to be incredibly well equipped to take one down on your own. Uh, that's another reason why I haven't gone up to try to fight the dragon is because um, I don't know if it breathes fire. I, I don't know uh, what I'm in, what, what's in store for me if I was to do something like that. I'm going to eat a little bit more. I'll make some more food here. This is almost broken, but I do want to... Uh, I think I need logs. See, here is a forge. This is where I've been making my weapons and armor and such. Human bone there. Kind of look around and make sure I'm not... Everything has you know, sort of a radius on it. If you get too close, it'll attack. Uh, deer see you from pretty far away. Um, so where are Gray Reaver. Uh, I have the hide. I have the medium. I have the high. I need one strong sinew and 24 wood logs. Um, strong sinew, make that one. And now I need, um, 24 wood logs. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, look, there's a skeleton. I don't know if he sees me, but let's see what his radius is. Alright, he's, he's spotted me. He's moving in. Ah, there he comes. Uh-oh. Broke my weapon. Oh, crap. Crud. Get out of there. Oh, wow. I got him with just a... Yeah, see, so you can't loot him at all either. So it must... Uh, they may not have added loot tables in. Do I have the option to move the safe zone of my HUD? Um, we can't see your heat or health bar on my tools. You can't see... What do you mean you can't see the, um... Hold on a second. Maybe it's it's a, an issue with my streaming. Hold on. Um... I'm gonna place my weapon first. Let me, uh, I tell you what. Let me modify my stream settings to see if that helps. Are you saying that basically the screen that I'm streaming is not the full screen? That, that's what I'm gathering here. wait for the, the lag to catch up so you guys can actually answer me here. Um. Yeah, let me do this. I'm, I'm going to modify my stream settings real quick. Um, I, I mean, that, that's what I'm assuming. Uh, so I'll just, I'll back out real quick. 
and I'll be right back in. Don't go anywhere.